The Grand Basset Griffon Vendéan is a French scent hound. The breed is derived like all Bassets from hounds of superior size and in this case, the Grand Griffon. A long-bodied, short-legged hunting breed, the Grand Basset Griffon Vendéan is a sight to behold. These dogs may be small at just 40 to 45 pounds, but their hunting abilities are such that they can bring down even large game like boar and deer. Although they were originally developed for hunting, today the Grand Basset Griffon Vendéan is more of a family pet. If you're looking for a kid and pet-friendly dog that responds well to training, well, this might be the right breed to consider. Now without further ado, let's dive right into our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Grand Basset Griffon Vendéan. Number 1. Their Origin the Griffon Vendéan hounds have gone through over 400 years of evolution to produce the Griffon-coated French hounds of today. These hounds developed into the breeds they are today by forming to fit the particular needs of their geographic areas. In case of the Vendéan hounds, the dense, thorny, and rocky region of the Vendée required a hardy breed of dog with mental and physical stamina and a coat that resisted brambles. Also, hunters of the lower classes who did not own horses needed a slower hound so they were more easily able to keep up. Their solution was to shorten the legs of the dog, and through evolution and breeding, a low-set dog was created. By the end of the 19th century, the Basset Griffon Vendéan, combining both hardiness and a shortened leg, had evolved as a part of the Basset breeds of France. The Club du Griffon Vendéan was founded in 1907 and it recognized two varieties, the Grand Basset Griffon Vendéan and the Petit Basset Griffon Vendéan. By the 1950s, the Grand was separated into its own standard and was considered a separate breed. Number 2. The two Basset Griffon Vendéans used to be interbred. Grand Bassets were used to hunt wolves and deer, while Petit Bassets were used to hunt rabbit, hare, and sometimes birds. But the two breeds did not become separate until the 1970s. The litters used to be interbred, and the puppies were separated by size. Today, there are other key differences in these two breeds besides their size. The Grand Vendéan has a longer muzzle, longer ears, a longer back, and a longer tail compared to the Petit. Number 3. Their name is quite descriptive. Their name might be quite a handful, but it is enough to describe the breed. Grand is a French word that means large, so it fits bigger version of the two Basset Griffon Vendéan breeds. Basset means low, Griffon is a type of wire coat, and Vendéan comes from Vendée, the region of France where the breed originated. But because their name is so long, these dogs are commonly known as GBGV or just Grands. Number 4. Their Physical Characteristics Often described as scruffy dogs, the Grand has a particular rustic appearance. Their noble breed is rough-coated with an elongated and well-boned body structure. As with all Bassets, their body is longer than their tall, and this gives their body a rectangular shape. Standing 15.5 to 18 inches at the withers and weighing approximately 45 to 55 pounds, these dogs have a free and easy gait. The Grand's trademark features are straight legs, a deep chest, a moderately long muzzle and neck, long ears, and a long tail. These pups have shaggy but wire textured coats and can be present in a variety of color combinations including black and tan, white and tan, white and orange, and tricolored. They also have large oval-shaped eyes that are so dark that the white part of their eyes are not visible at all. Number 5. Their personality and temperament Those who know this breed best mention their willingness to please their humans and their ability to get along with other dogs. They are outgoing, fun-loving, warm, and friendly, and they get along with just about everyone. This is why these canines are also known as the happy-go-lucky dogs. However, grounds are also fast and well-voiced and can be stubborn at times. They were bred to work independently without any human direction so they can carry an independent and bold aura. Moreover, if these dogs become bored, they'll unleash their destructive side very fast. Leaving them unattended for a long time can also result in separation anxiety. So it's best if you involve your grounds in your daily life and always make your pooch a part of anything that's going on around them. Number 6. They love to howl Much like their siblings, the Petit Griffon Vendéan, the Grand Griffons are very vocal dogs. They're outspoken and so they'll express every emotion through howling. Your gran will howl or sing when someone is at the door or when they're excited to see you or when they feel neglected for having to stay alone for a long time. Well, basically, your gran is gonna howl at everything. While many owners find their dogs loud, melodious howl adorable, their neighbors don't. Number 7. They need to be walked on a leash. Grand Griffon Vendéans are scent hounds, which means if these dogs get a smell of small game, like rabbits or squirrels, they'll be off to hunt in no time. This is why you gotta keep your grand on a leash if you're taking them out for a walk. 
You might have to make a few stops on the way, as they will most likely sniff and smell every little thing. You can let them free once you're inside, but make sure you have an extremely well-fenced yard. Their desire to track and hunt is very strong, and so they'll run off if the yard is not securely fenced. These dogs are also said to have selective deafness when following a scent. They probably won't hear you or your commands once they are off to hunt, so make sure to keep your dog on a leash and only let them loose in a fenced area. Number 8. The Training Needs Like most hound breeds, the Grand Basset Griffon Vendéon has an air of independence. They may not be the most obedient dog in the world, but they generally respond well to firm and consistent training. However, if you show weakness, they will try and take over. The breed has a natural desire to please, so positive reinforcement training methods are generally successful. Just be mindful that these dogs are highly active and may have trouble paying attention during extended training sessions. You can keep your sessions short and sweet, no longer than 10 or 15 minutes, for the best results. Number 9. Their Grooming and Care the Grand Basset Griffon Vendéon's coat is made up of a medium-length, rough top coat and a thick undercoat. The coat does not require a lot of grooming. A weekly brush to remove dead hair and dirt should be sufficient. Their long ears should be checked and cleaned regularly to avoid infections. And as with all dogs, make sure you brush your Grand's teeth daily to remove tartar buildups and trim their nails regularly. As for their exercise requirements, Grands are very active dogs who need plenty of physical exercise and mental stimulation. They are not the type of dogs that will be content to curl up on the sofa all day. These guys need at least 30 minutes of moderate to vigorous exercise, though more will always be appreciated. You can take your ground for hiking, as they make excellent hiking companions and have immense stamina when out on walks. Number 10. They are a healthy breed. The Grand Basset Griffon Vendéon is known for being healthy and hardy, largely unaffected by hereditary and congenital health problems. Even so, all dogs are prone to certain health problems such as hip and elbow dysplasia and eye problems like cataracts and progressive retinal atrophy. Some of the other conditions that might affect the breed include field injuries, ear infections, and skin problems. With optimal upbringing and lifetime care, the Grand Basset Griffon Vendéon can live between 12 to 15 years. Alright guys, that's the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Grand Basset Griffon Fontaine. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these cheerful and smart dogs, let us know about them in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting facts on different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one.